great question for anybody looking for a bargain HDTV. He says, I'm going to be buying a new HDTV soon, and I was wondering if I'm only going to be watching Blu-ray movies and some TV on my set, rarely watching sports, never gaming. Is it really necessary to spend the extra cash on a 120 hertz HDTV, or would a 60 hertz TV with a 24p mode work just as well for watching movies? It is hard, he says, to find a definitive answer. Ash, great question. So, 240 hertz is the new 120 hertz, which is the new 60 hertz. Pretty much. So, 60 hertz a bargain if you're not going to be, if, is, is 60 hertz better for movies? Uh, no. I would say the 120 hertz models are better because of the frame rate of the movie, mm -hmm. 24 frames per second. That's what all cinema that we go to the theater and look at, right. it was originally recorded at 24 frames per second, or pictures per second, you can think of it as. And it's nice to have a TV that has the same multiple of 24 mm -hmm. in order to display that back Five accurately. times 24 equals 120 hertz. There you go. Or if you're doing 240, it'd just be times 10. But yeah. I thought the 120 hertz looked awful, or the 240 hertz, because of it. It makes my beautiful cinema look like cheap. 80s videotape. The smoothing effect, yeah, that, that, that becomes the discussion then of interpolation. Do you interpolate, when you have more frames per second that the TV can display than there are frames of material coming from the source, mm -hmm. what do you do in between? Right. Do, do, you, do you make up frames that are in the in-between cases? That's interpolation. Interpolation. Or do you then repeat that first frame until you get to that next frame and just repeat the exact same thing over and over, and that gives you what you would then see is really just a, a, very look, a look that's very similar to what you right. get in the theater. It should look identical to the cinema look. So for a 3-2 pull down, which allows a 60 hertz to pretend it's properly displaying a Try 24 frames per second. Try to convert that 24 to 60. Right. And in that way, you've got to basically go a 3-2 pattern with Doesn't the frame rate. just as good as the 120 hertz? It'll look okay, but if, you're, if you want to be a purist about it, right. get, that, get that 120 hertz technology. But then you would have to make sure that when you go to watch your movies or any other content that's recorded in 24 hertz, 24 frames per second, you want to make sure that you go into the TV and either set it to, I'm hoping it's movie mode or cinema mode, will disable the interpolation and go with frame repeat. Mm -hmm. Or you could manually go in and just say, you know what, turn off that mode. Every TV that has this interpolation function has a way to turn it off. So you'd say save up a couple more weeks, buy 120 hertz television if you can. And we should point out, by the end of this year, everything, even the cheap stuff, is probably going to be 120 hertz. Um, he did mention, though, some 60 hertz sets that offer a 48 hertz mode. Oh, really? Which would be a frame doubling. You mentioned that, actually. I did. Oh, he did? Oh, okay. Maybe I talked about that earlier. But <laughs> the one thing about that case I've seen, I've looked at 48 hertz TVs. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a Sony panel, actually, that had that mode. And I was impressed that it had it, but it, was, it wasn't fast enough. It was introducing a little bit of flicker to the picture, and it made it distracting to watch. Now, when you get to 72 hertz and above, like 120 hertz, that's where I really see it to kick in and become a, a smoother, watchable right. picture at that point. And you think about all of your sporting events, too. Most sporting events are recorded in 720p60. Mm -hmm. That's a Fox Sports uses that a lot. And that format benefits greatly from the interpolation function, right. the default setting of the TV. You'll actually get a clearer picture. And you think about broadcast TV in prime time, a lot of it's done in the 1080i30 format. That also benefits directly from interpolation, providing smoother, clearer pictures on LCD technology. So basically what you're saying is, unless you're getting an insane bargain on that 60 hertz television, uh, 60 hertz HD TV, you should probably, if possible, go with 120 hertz. Totally. HDTV. And I think you mentioned gaming, too, as one mm -hmm. of his interests. Not uh, interesting. No. Never games. Oh, okay. Never games. Never mind then. However, However if you are into gaming. <laughs> it would benefit because of the faster pixel speeds, being able to keep up with fast moving text on the screen, uh, hopefully reducing some blurring and quick motion or any other, you know, I'm thinking first person shooters or scrolling text in like your favorite guitar style game right. or whatever. So if bargain price now is absolutely your only criterion, 60 hertz television is okay. Do yourself a favor, though. Check online. Check Amazon. Check the big box stores. Check the closeouts. Check your local Costco because there's nothing worse than finding out that your bargain turns out to have been the standard or inflated price you can buy somewhere else. Just saying because I'm cheap. <laughs>